Hi Brawlies, Marvin here from TechBeerall.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy B-rolls. And today I share with you what a NAS or a network attached storage device is as simple as possible and why it is an overall better solution when it comes to backing up your files and managing your data in general in comparison with just using some external hard drives, enclosures, docking stations, or even cloud storage options. I'm also going to share some of its use case scenarios and most used applications. In this video, we're going to use the Synology DS220J Dual Bay NAS, which is a good introduction for anyone who's planning on getting their feet wet when it comes to network attached storage device. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so before anything else, let's discuss the definition of a NAS. A NAS, also known as network attached storage, as the name implies, is a storage device that is connected to your local network via a router and is not directly connected to your PC compared to a hard drive docking station, an external hard drive, and other storage options. That is the main difference, but aside from that, of course, since it is connected to your network, you can remotely access your files using your PC, smartphones, tablets, and the like. And anyone who has access to the same network can access the NAS, of course, providing that they have the necessary permissions. So essentially, a NAS can also act as your personal cloud storage without the expensive and recurring subscription fees. A NAS is a one-time investment, and all you have to do is purchase the NAS device itself, a few hard drives, and you're pretty much good to go. Aside from that, the most important thing is that you basically have sole ownership of your files compared to online cloud storage that is hosted by other people and located somewhere else. Granted, a NAS device and hard drives are not cheap at all, but to be honest, the one-time investment and the freedom you'll get with your own storage device is definitely worth it. Another thing is that having a single piece of equipment to manage all your data is quite helpful, especially when organizing your growing data collection. I for one have used a lot of external hard drives before for my video raw files and they can get full pretty quick and then I have to buy another one adding clutter and insanity to my work efficiency. I also tried using an external docking station like this so that I always have access to my files. However, I find this thing more of a hassle than it is useful. Since, at least for this particular docking station, it is very sensitive and one mistake when it comes to shutting down or powering it down can lead to data loss or data corruption which happened to me at least twice already as I've mentioned on my video where I first set up my very own NAS. And after using a NAS for around 6 months, I can definitely say that it is super worth it and that's why I'm sharing this video with you guys to possibly help you as well. Now, a NAS is not only a simple storage device for backing up your files. It is actually more than that and more than you can imagine. The use case scenarios are almost sky's the limit here. So with a bit of introduction, let's go ahead and set up the Synology DS220J so that we can discuss some of the things that you can take advantage of with a NAS, especially comparing it with the other storage solutions that I've mentioned earlier. But before that, actually, a quick word from our sponsor. This portion of the video is sponsored by VIP SCD Key. VIP SCD Key is an online web store that offers software keys and game keys in a very competitive price and without the hassle of going to a physical store. One of the most frequently used software keys is none other than the Windows 10 key and you can get a legit one from VIP SCD Key for only 20 US dollars. But since you're awesome, you can also use my code SKTBR to get an additional 18% off and get it for only 16 dollars or around 800 pesos. You can purchase using your Visa, Mastercard, PayPal and more. And as you can see, I actually purchased one for my build and once completed, you can now activate your license by going to activation settings in Windows, click change product key, enter license, and click activate. And that's about it, pretty straightforward, right? So check the link below and don't forget to use my code for an extra discount. Thanks to VIP SED Key for sponsoring this part of the video. Let's start with a quick unboxing and parts overview so that you can have a better understanding of what a NAS device is. Alright guys, so right here we have the packaging for the Synology DS220J and before we crack this open, let me pop the specifications on the screen so that you can check it out. So as you can tell, it essentially has its own computer which is a huge difference compared to a basic hard drive docking station and external hard drive. And like I said, the Synology DS220J is one of the entry level NAS that you can get if you're just starting out or if your storage needs are not that large. Upon opening the box, the first thing you'll notice is the Synology DS220J itself, nicely protected with a non-woven fabric. And then we have a quick installation guide with easy to understand illustrations. Next, in this compartment, we have the rest of the package contents. We have a power adapter, a power cable, an ethernet cable, 
and a set of screws for mounting the hard drives and securing the chassis. Now let's take a look at the Synology DS220J itself. At first look and touch, it is quite lightweight and the construction is made mostly out of hard plastic materials. It has this nice and sleek design and I particularly like this white colorway though I'm not a fan of the glossy finish. Not a deal breaker though since the reflection and fingerprints are not that visible. Okay, so we have ventilation in the form of the Synology logo on both sides which I find really clever. And flipping it on the top side, we don't have anything here. And turning it all over at the bottom, we have four rubber feet to keep this thing stay in place. And we also have a small ventilation right here. Flipping it on the back side, we have the system fan, which looks like it is replaceable. So essentially, if you find this loud, you can replace it with something from Noctua and the like. We also have a small reset button, a couple of USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet port, the power port, and a Kensington lock slot right here. Turning it all over to the front side, we have a small DS220J logo, the LED indicators and legends right here, and the power button right here. So these are the basic input and output ports that you will find on most NAS devices. You may find additional options from higher-end NAS but these are pretty much all you need to start. Now setting up the Synology DS220J is super easy. All you have to do is slide the case open like so, get your hard drives ready. In my case, I'm going to use two 4TB Toshiba N300 NAS drives which is the same model that I'm currently using in my main Synology DS220 Plus NAS. I really like these hard drives and they are pretty reliable, though sometimes they can get quite loud as well. Now installing the drives to the Synology DS220J is pretty straightforward. Just slide them into the slot, make sure the connector is properly plugged in on the SATA interface, secure them with screws, and then put the cover back and secure it with a couple of screws as well. The next step is to plug in the power adapter. Connect the Ethernet cable to the Synology NAS DS220J, enter your home router, power on the NAS, and head into your computer to start the setup process by going to find.synology.com. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through the setup and installation process here since I've done that already on my review and step-by-step -step setup guide of the Synology DS220 Plus, which you can check out here around the 6-minute mark if you're interested. The setup process is pretty much the same, but essentially it is a super easy process and all you have to do is follow the instructions until you have the DSM or the Disk Station Manager installed. For this video, we'll focus more on the use case scenarios and the most common applications that you can use so that you can have a better understanding of why it is way better to use a NAS compared to other basic storage solutions. Alright, so once the DSM installation process is done, we can now log in using our account. And now we are inside the Disk Station Manager which basically is the operating system of our Synology NAS and as you can see, the interface is quite familiar and intuitive, even for first-time users. Now, you may think that it is hard to set up a NAS, and that's okay because I also think that way before, but it is actually pretty easy to do, and there are a lot of tutorials and videos available online, including the one you are watching right now. So, we have our dashboard right here, a search bar, account settings, and notifications. Here, we have our package center, control panel, and file station. Now, clicking this icon, which is our sort of start menu, reveals the rest of the available programs and settings. Now, there are a ton of different use case scenarios and applications that you can do with a NAS, but let's discuss some of the most popular ones here. Now, the first and probably the most used feature of a NAS is, of course, backing up your files. The setup process is also included in my previous step-by-step -step setup guide video, but essentially, you need to install the Synology Drive application inside the DSM, and you also have to download and install the Synology Drive client on your PC so that you can backup your files to the Synology NAS. You also have to create a shared folder or let's say a backup folder. In this case, I named it as the main backup. Next, open the Synology Drive client on your PC and in here you have two options, sync task and backup task. And for the purpose of this video, we'll focus on the backup task. So click that and then log in using your account. Click next and now we have our backup source list which is our local files on our computer. And then we also have to select the folder to which our files are going to be backed up inside the Synology NAS. Now select which folders need to be backed up. In this case, I chose my video projects folder just to set an example. Click next and now you have to choose between these options. I chose continuous to make sure my files are always being backed up. Click next, review your settings and click done. And that's about it. As you can see, my files are now being backed up inside the Synology DS220J. Pretty straightforward, right? There are a lot of steps on my guide but essentially it is a fairly easy process to work with. Now that is just one use case scenario or application that you can take advantage from using a NAS but there are a lot more. If you want, you can also use the Synology Hyper Backup which is a step further for backing up your files. 
you'll have the option to back up your files in multiple locations. You can also use a Synology NAS as a multimedia server for storing your photos, videos, and music. Like for example, we have the Moments application wherein you can upload your photos and easily access them across the network. We also have another application that actually does the same thing, which is the Photo Station. And adding photos is as simple as dragging and dropping images to the photo folder. And then you just have to refresh the Photo Station application and the newly added photos will start to show up. Both applications have their pros and cons, but this is a very good way to organize your photos and albums that you can easily share with others. Aside from that, we also have the audio station, which of course is for music. So you can also organize your audio files and again access them across the network, either using your PC, smartphone, tablets, and the like. You can also just drag and drop your music on the music folder and it will then show up on the audio station. And lastly, in terms of multimedia files, we also have the video station, which basically does the same thing, but for video files. This will serve as your media server so that you can upload your videos like movies, series, and what have you that you can play anytime, anywhere, as long as you have access to your NAS over the network. Now, those are just a few of the most popular Synology applications that you can use to fully take advantage of the potential of your NAS. But looking at the package center, we have more applications than we actually need here. We have a surveillance station for connecting your security cameras. We have more multimedia applications including iTunes server. We have applications for the business side. A lot of utilities both from Synology and third-party developers. We also have for security including an antivirus. And then we have more applications including some for productivity like MailStation, NoteStation, and others. We also have applications for developers, of course backup, and for collaborations. All in all, as you can tell, with just a one-time investment, you have a lot of freedom when it comes to managing your data and work efficiency without the unnecessary hassle of logging around a bunch of external hard drives and without the expensive subscription fees of cloud storage. You also won't have to worry about data loss as much as you would with an external hard drive since a NAS can be configured with redundancy, so that's essentially a backup system of your backup files. I really can't think of a drawback of a NAS other than it is expensive and takes more time to set up, but in my honest opinion, all it offers more than makes up for the expenses, especially the fact that no monetary value can replace your most important files, and I think at the end of the day, that is the bottom line here. Again, if you would like to get your feet wet when it comes to Synology NAS, I can definitely recommend the Synology DS220J because it is a relatively affordable model that can still get the job done when it comes to basic applications such as backing up your files. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Synology for sending this in, you can get this from the links below. Again, you can watch my step-by-step -step setup guide for the Synology DS220 Plus and I'm actually going to make another Synology NAS video as I upgrade and migrate my files from the Synology DS220 Plus to the larger capacity Synology DS920 Plus. So please subscribe if you're interested in that. Thank you for watching. Again, subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Have a great day guys. You're awesome.